Uh, last time we introduced you the first professional method for solving a general circuit problem. In fact, uh, for linear circuit problems. Okay. And we choose the null voltages as the annoyance. Okay. Because you know the null voltages, then you can calculate any branch voltages. And from branch voltage, you can calculate any branch current and other annoyance such as the pulse or energies or cost. Okay. And we de divide into two categories. The first case, uh, two cases. The first case is the basic case. Okay. And for the non voltage method, we need only write down the Kirchhoff current law. Okay. So it you don't need to worry about the Kirchhoff voltage law because by choosing the non voltages and it turns out the KVL is automatically satisfied. So you don't need to worry about the Kirchhoff voltage law because by choosing the non voltages and it Okay, so today we will consider the second case. Uh, for case 2A, this is a trivial case. Okay. Uh, remember last time, uh, what do we mean by case 2A? Uh, this is a trivial case. And, and, uh, we have body source. Okay. And for this body source, there's one node is connected to the ground. Okay. So this node voltage is known. You don't need to solve the, the, the circuit equations. Okay. So, in fact, we have only two annulus left for this uh, circuit. Okay, so this is a trivial case. Uh, the number of circuit equations is reduced. Okay, and uh, for the second case here, okay, suppose we have one source here and both two terminals. Okay, uh, neither one is connected to ground. In this case, we are consider first the uh, uh, algebraic approach because we want to write down the KCL equation for three nodes. However, for voltage source, the current is unknown. So naturally, we assume uh, the current through this voltage source is Ix. In that case, then we can write down three node equations. Uh, so we can consider this example. First, for node A here, okay, we write one KCO equation. And node B here, we write the second KCO equation. And node C, okay, it's too bad we don't have the circuit. For node A here, you can see EA minus EB, uh, EB divided by 1 ohm plus EA minus EC uh, multiplied by 4 Siemens. Okay. So we have only two resistors one by four. And to the right hand side here, okay, there's a current source entering to the node. Then we can see here we have one ampere entering, this is should be uh, with positive uh, with plus sign. And this living so it's mass side. So we have one minus five ampere. Okay? And similar for node B here, we have the current entering here, we have two registers. So we have uh, the current leaving this node is EP minus EA divided by 1 ohm. EP minus 0 volt multiplied by 2 Siemens. Okay. So you can EP minus EA divided by 1 ohm. EP minus 0 volt multiplied by 2 Siemens. And also we have this 
current Ix limit is known. So we have plus sign. Okay? Similar for the for the certain node here. We have two registers connect to this node. So the current given this node, EC minus EA <coughs> multiplied four Siemens. EC minus zero volt multiplied three Siemens. Okay? We have multiplied four Siemens and EC minus zero volt multiplied three Siemens. We also have this current, this entry, so we should have mass sign. Okay? When we write down the case here, because we have mass. So you can see we have one, two, three equations. However, now, by using the algebraic approach, we <coughs> have to okay, add one more and lowest. So you need one more equation, which means we have an additional equation, EB minus EC equal to 5 volts. So in that case, we have four equations, one, two, three, and together with the water source, okay, there's a EP minus EC. Oh. EP minus EC equal to five volts. So we have four equations, four in and one. Okay, so basically we can also solve this uh, circuit problem. However, this is not a good approach. Uh, because for another equation, we have only three and nodes. So, in fact, the most you need to write down uh, three KCL equations uh, instead of four equations. However, further, uh, I mean, careful observation about the these two equations. We can observe node B, node C here. We have Ix, we have mass Ix. Okay. In case we add these two equations, okay, plus Ix mass Ix. So it disappears. In other words, okay, we have these equations. And in case the Board source, okay. The component model is applied. Given EC, then EP is known. Or given EP, EC is known. Or for example, if we assume EC as a known, then EP is equal to EC plus five volt. So by using this component model, we can eliminate one variable. So in fact. We have one equation, two equation, and two and no, right? So we can solve the problem. So instead of solving four equations, four and no, okay, we solve a circuit problem with two and no, two equations, then this equation and this equation. Uh, here, for example, if we choose, we choose EC as a no, okay, then EB can be eliminated. Uh, I substitute EP equals to uh, equals uh, EC plus five volts. Uh, so for this equation, we can enable EP in terms of EC uh, plus five volts. The same here uh, for all EP variables, we can substitute okay, EC plus five volts. The two and not two equations. Uh, and see what is the meaning, okay, the logical property of this equation. Can you interpret, let's see, EB minus EA divided by 1 ohm. EB minus EA divided by 1 ohm, which means the current, current leaving this node, okay. In fact, we call the super node concept, super node, which means whenever we have a voltage source, Okay, with two terminals, okay, uh, not connect to ground, uh, uh, neither one connect, then we can consider these two nodes together of the super node. So here, for this super node, we have current leaving this, uh, this register, uh, leaving this super node, so EB minus EA, divided by one ohm, okay, and the 
second register here, EP mass 0 multiplied two Siemens. EP mass 0 multiplied two Siemens. Okay. And EC mass 0 multiplied three Siemens. Or EC multiplied three Siemens. Okay. And for this register here, EC mass EA multiply four Siemens. EC mass EA multiply equal to uh, multiply four Siemens. And to the right hand side here, we want to find the current, uh, some of the current source enter to this super node. In fact, there is only one current source enter to this super node. So it's a uh, five ampere, so it's uh, plus sign. So we have five ampere plus sign. So by using the super node concept, okay, this case, okay, this is special case, it's uh, called special case in our textbook, okay, it's quite a simple one. Huh? So the more water source are uh, contained in the circuit, is to feel more happy uh, because you need to solve much fewer uh, number of equations uh, simultaneously. Okay, to we'll simplify the problem solving. Okay. So are there any questions about the the two B case? Uh, Bayquan when we substitute, okay, here we choose EP as a norm. In that case, EC is equal to EP minus 5. This is knowing. So we can substitute EC into the previous equations and we get the final result. Two unknowns, two equations. Uh, this is in matrix form. Okay. So the last case here we have water source. However, among them, we have also dependent source. Uh, the dependent source may include dependent current source or dependent voltage source. Uh, and how do we handle this case? It's quite simple. We only need one more step. Uh, if you can solve the problem in case B, then you can find the problem in case 2C. So only need to write down one more constraint equation about the controlling parameters. So in this case here, for example, we have one dependent source. Okay, what you need to do is find the controlling parameter. This is a voltage source. We call voltage controlled voltage source. Or voltage controlled voltage dependent source. And the controlling parameter 2Vx is two times this voltage. So all you need to do is express the controlling parameter Vx in terms of the normal voltage Ea, Eb, Ec. And in this case, Vx equal to Eb minus Ec. So that's quite trivial. So the is very simple. It's very straightforward. It's not difficult. So the only difference between the 2B case is that you need to put the controlling parameter and then put the unknown. Of the EA, EB, EC. Okay. Also, from this problem, you can see we have one, two, three, four, four nodes. Then we have three. Uh, normally, we have n minus one node equations. That's why we have a voltage source. So, the end result is two by two the equation. So, if you have a voltage source, you can see that the voltage source is very high. Don't say it's very difficult. 不要说以为这个很很难很难，啊，所以我们从 basic case 一步一步，应该很容易解，就像练练武功一样，从这个 
这个敦马部的最基本的那一招一式呢，然、啊、后来的就是天下第一剑啊，就是功夫就会很厉害。So let's consider this example and later on we will ask some student、uh, to work on the blackboard. Okay. So see we have、uh, again here from the basic principle. I mean, I mean the topological properties of the linear circuit. Okay, we have、uh, four nodes. So normally we have three node equations. Okay, however here we have one more source. Okay, uh, no matter it is、uh, dependent or it is independent. Okay, then we can limit one state、uh, one node voltage. Okay, so only two and nodes left here. So. It, If we choose E B E C as a node, this a node, this a node, then E A is equal to two V X plus E B. Ah, this the data is become unknown. Is how much? As long as E B is out, I can tell you it is two V X plus E B. Okay. So let's consider the next step. So we have one more resource. Okay, here we can use the previous concept. Super node.、Uh, the super node concept is we include both two nodes of the voltage source. This DM line, it is not only two points, two points. I have 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 two points. 会啊，我们在写 K C 一块钱就不会去写到这个 voltage source 的电流，就用不到这个电流。所以 we have current, 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 current. Summation I K equals to zero, or summation I K, I K, I K even equals to summation source entering, source entering. 啊，所以 we can write down this super law equation. Okay, we can write down these normal node equations, and also one more step, we can inhibit E A, okay, in terms two V X plus E B, okay. So we substitute, we we inhibit E A variable here by using this equation. However, even if substitute E A. There remains one unknown v x. So to obtain the last circuit equation, you need one more step. You have to express the controlling parameters in terms of the node voltage. So see here, v x is obvious equal to E B minus E C. Ah,、uh, just like we mentioned at the beginning of the node voltage method. Okay. If you know the node voltages, then you know any branch voltages. Okay. So if you know E B E C, then the branch voltage here is E B minus E C, right? Okay. So we substitute into here. Okay. Then it turns out E A voltage is equal to three E B minus two E C. Okay. So finally, we have a two by two equations, and of course, we can solve the problem. Okay, solve this、uh, simultaneous equation. E B E C are known, then E A, okay, is obtained、uh, because we we can calculate E B minus E C and multiply by two, then add it to E B, we get E A. When all the known voltage is known, we can find all the branch current. When all the branch voltage and all the branch current are known, then you can calculate the power consumed in each branch or supplied by each source. Okay, and once the power is obtained, you can integrate the power to get the energy. And once the energy is obtained, you can calculate the cost. Okay, so this is a circuit analysis. Okay, are there any questions? Because V X is the voltage, 它是这个 branch 的电压来控制这个 voltage source， 它不是 independent， 所以它叫 control source， 不叫 dependent source。
这个是一个 virtual 的 model， defense source 是你们教电晶、电晶体的电子学，所以你们 possible 这些还是下学期会教到， transistor 里面会用到。OK， so no problem。Great. Okay, so the here to help to uh, give you more clear concept. Uh, uh, here we have uh, uh, a different approach to let you understand uh, the uh, theory of the node analysis. Okay, so here you may ask a question. Okay, so. Uh, although last week, uh, I think your TA teaching assistant uh, they introduced you the uh, SPICE simulation simulation program uh, with integrated circuit emphasis. SPICE is a software program, and in which uh, it was developed uh, around 1970. Uh, in fact, it's about time when I went to the United States to pursue my PhD degrees. Uh, because it's uh, supported by the National Science uh, Council of uh, the United States, so it's a public code. Because it's a national science, it's a national science, it's a national science, it's a national science, so it's a national science. So I was in the United so, so quite natural, uh, natural, how uh, a circuit can be okay, represented or stored in a network computer okay, or personal computer. CD布上可以画一个图，那请问你怎么把图画到computer里面？computer是零一点一的，a system. So how do you represent a circuit? Uh, a circuit diagram. Uh, with zero one.所以各位应该要这样思考，你要要求救它的根源与根本问题。so first we will <coughs> introduce you a matrix which is called NOW to branch instance matrix. Uh, it's quite interesting. We have already this very fundamental graph theory. Uh, what is the definition of a NOW? Uh, what is the definition of a loop? Uh, something like that, or tree, or link. Uh, so here we are considering the topological properties. In other words, we only focus on the interconnection quantity of the components instead of the detailed component model. So we can just see these electrons or electrons or electrons or electrons or electrons or electrons or electrons. And here, because we want to solve the circuit problem, so we prefer using the theoretic graph. This graph is called branch 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 a matrix called node. We have one an A node, B node, C node, D node, and we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five branch. So we have four by five matrix. And you can see here. Uh, remember, a graph is a set of of many subset. One of the set is the set of nodes A, B, C, D. We have subset A, B, C, D. We have no, our branches are set. We have one, two, three, four, five. Each branch is different, and also a mapping a function. Okay, yes. Okay, so the mapping is uh, represented, in fact, by using this matrix. Okay, and here we have the order because matrix row and column. We have a, a natural order: first row, second row, third row, fourth row, first column, 
second column, uh, etc. So you can see for the first branch here, the first column here, C is starting from node A and toward node D. Okay. So in other words, for branch one is leaving node A, entering node D. So when leaving, we use plus sign. Uh, this uh, notation is preferred because when we read the node equation in previous examples, we have summation i k leaving the resist uh, the nodes equal to summation all current source entering to the node. So they think of so there's a leaving, so we don't leave it under the center. So the branch is leaving the node as a center. Now node is a full. Now the other node is not connected, it's zero. Okay. Similarly for the second branch from A to B, from A to B, okay. Entering node B is, is my son. Okay, similarly for the third branch from B to C, okay, from node B to C, okay, entering is with my son. And branch four from C to D, <coughs> C leaving is with plus sign. Entering is with my son. And finally for the fifth branch here from B to D, B node to B node. It's called not branch instant matrix. We have called A sub A. Uh, remember for writing the not equations, although we have uh, N not A, B, C, D, however, only N minus one not equation are independent. So in fact, we have one node so this is redundant. So, the definition of the not to branch instant matrix uh, defined here is here AIK or the ith row to k column component is defined. Okay, if, if branch, if this branch leaves this node, and here we put plus sign, plus one, and if enter to this node, we put minus sign, minus one here. For other branches, okay, it's not instant with this node, and put zero, okay. So an orange graph can be represented by its instant matrix AA in computer. So you can see there's one characteristic okay, for this matrix. For any column, you add together zero. Okay. So when writing a computer program, you need to check the input data because we have the garbage in garbage out. Yeah, now you get out the input data, I right, get it output, that's it's a tool. Uh, which you have a circuit, uh, can you have 5,000 transistors. So you can check, 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 you can check. So given a matrix, okay, it has its column, okay, add to zero, and with only one, one, and one minus one, then it's corresponding to a circuit, okay. Okay, so here you can see uh, for this uh, circuit, okay, we can write a not branch instant matrix, okay. In addition to the properties of this matrix, and it's interesting to see uh, here we have five branch and four nodes, and we know we have three, uh, four minus one, three independent not equations. You can see here, uh, suppose we choose not D as the data node. Uh, in that case, we just separate, delete this row. Do we choose D node as the data node? If we choose D node as the data node, we will put the node row to the data node. This ABC to B1 to B2 to the image. Okay, um, we call it reduce not branch instance matrix because this is exactly the matrix we need to formulate our not equations. Uh, for example, you can see uh, we multiply mass one this row. Okay, this is mass one, mass one, mass one, and. And this also multiplies mass one, plus one, mass one, 
as one. Okay? And this also must apply mass mass one. Uh, and you add together three rows, you get this, you get this, you get so the last row can be obtained by this equate this row plus this row plus this row and then change sign. Uh, so then the row can you chita sangha row by out which is called linear combination. Uh, if you learn the linear algebra on uh, you know the concept of linear independence or linear dependence. Uh, and in fact, any one row is dependent on uh, a linear combination of the remaining three rows. Uh, <coughs> so in case we delete the last row, we have this uh, reduced uh, images, which we denote as n. And because we talking about we are talking about the northern matrix, so you end the matrix like we are. So you can see the matrix this represents the topological uh, properties of the circuit. The table is the end here, the to the end matrix is that the Gaussian matrix again. Now we know that KC or KB is a topological the topological properties. It has no correlation with the other interconnection. Okay, so you can see what uh, the branch voltage, uh, as we talked before, if you know the normal voltage, then you can calculate all the branch voltage. For example, uh, let's consider this example. For branch 1, we know the voltage uh, of V1 is uh, this plus this mass, so Ea mass 0. Branch 1 voltage Ea mass 0. Branch 2 is Ea mass Eb. Branch 2, V2, uh, is Ea mass Eb. Branch 3 here is Ea mass Ec. Ea mass Ec. And branch 4, Eb mass 0. So you have Eb mass 0. Branch 5, again, Ec mass 0. Okay. EC mass zero. And last branch, six, EB mass EC. EB. So you can see if we use, I mean, define the vector VB uh, equal to the column vector V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, the branch voltage vector uh, swallow the component of the area. Uh, <laughs> The U1 component, the V1 dot V U1. So you can see it's very convenient to use the matrix uh, notation. Uh, we don't matrix the flow like your so freedom from being uh that dimension could be the each U1 one way by one. The matrix the uh, so here the freedom the change here. so no case here can freedom change. And suppose we denote the normal voltage E A E B E C as a column vector, okay. Here T means transposition. Uh, there's a row, I'm not transposing here better than column. Uh, you can see the branch voltage happens to be equal to the transpose of the previous reduced image multiplied the not voltage. Uh, so what Chen Jiang is Han Chin Sushi. So you the universal language. In case all the non voltage are known, then all the bridge voltage can be obtained. Uh, this is the combination of it. Uh, so this is an uh, important relationship. Once you obtain the non voltage, then you will get the solution of all the bridge voltage. The second one, okay, let's consider uh, case here, uh, not equations. Uh, in fact, uh, <coughs> I don't have the detail here. However, you can see, okay, from, from this node, uh, reduce node to its the matrix, you can see this N matrix times the branch curves I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I6. Okay. 
各位可以看这个 M H 企业哈、啊，然后你说成一个 c o l u m n factor 是 I one I two I three I four I five 啊 I six， 所以第一个 row 成这个 branch curly column 可以得到 I one plus I two plus I three equal to zero。I1 plus I2 by, which is the KCL equation, okay, with respect to not A. Ah, we'll wait for the test to come up. So you can see, this is the first row of the branch curve vector. It represents the KCL equation. Ah, for this point A, it was written as KCL. And now for the second row, we have minus I2 plus I4 plus I6. You can see. Mass I2, okay, leave it, plus I4, and plus I6. So second row times the branch curve vector, in fact, represent the KCL equation, okay, written with respect to not B. And similar, okay, mass I3, uh, plus I5, <laughs> mass I6, in fact, the KCL equation with respect to not C. Uh, 你看一二三嘛，第三是 entry， 这是负的，三四五的五，五是 leaving， 离开是正的，六 entry 是负的。OK， so KCL equation is automatic satisfied。How about KCL？ 哎 ，KCL equation 用数学来表示，你看，在 computer 里面就是这个式子，就是 KCL equation。啊，这个可以 n 减一个节点，啊，是 independent 的。KCL equation. And last one here, okay. Ah, uh, I'll see a second case. Can we uh, here just another example? For example, V2 plus V4 plus I1. Uh, V4, V2, V1. It changed a little bit. You can see EA plus EB plus EB plus ED. 啊，然后 plus E A， 啊，这边过来是 mass， 啊、呃， bracket E A mass E D， 啊，所以 happen cancel out exactly， 啊， E A is mass E A， mass E B plus E B， 啊， and E C 啊， mass E C， cancel， so KVA equation is automatically satisfied， okay， the last Part is the component model. Okay, if you want to write a computer program, of course you don't. You, if you want to write a general program, okay, so that it can cover case one, case two. In fact, case one A, case one B, and case two A, two B, two C. So uh, how to cover those cases? 我们有 water source， 有 current source， 有电阻。所以 here， 啊，我们用 general branch。那 general branch 在 graph 我们可以这样表示。那这样就可以 cover 前面五种 case。For example， if R k is equal to zero， 啊，这是 short circuit。And current source equal to zero， then you have this is open circuit， then you have a simple water source。Or if RK equal to zero and VSK equal to zero, okay, and we have only current source here left, so we have current source, or with zero current source, zero volt source, then we have purely resistor. So we have a general branch model, can represent the current source, represent the current current current. So what is the component model for this general case? You can see here, we have I K, the branch current, okay? Branch current, we took a branch of the DNA, a branch of the DNA. Branch current here, we have, we can use the case here. It's equal to this current plus this current. So this I K is known uh, current source. And the current here, we can use Ohm's law. It's a V, Branch voltage minus the source voltage VSK divided by RK. Then we know the the current through the resistors. 
，OK， 说整个 A B 的这个 branch 的电力啊，这两端的电力啊，减掉这个串联的 voltage source 电力啊，那是得到电阻的电力啊，那除以电阻就是得到这个电力，所以这个电力加这个电力，就是整个 total 这个 branch 的电力。那我们再写一个 computer 程式呢，就是一个 general 的，啊，可以用到前面五种 case 都可以用。So you can see the branch current equal to the parallel current source plus the current through the resistor. Uh, and this is a reciprocal resistor, the CMOS. RK 的导数是 GK. Uh, 这是 branch 的两端的电压减掉那个 voltage source. So we have B branches. Uh, 每一个 branch 是一个 scalar. 那有 B 个的话，我写成一个 column vector. 这 c o l u m e c t 但是这个变成一个 diagonal matrix， 啊，这个 c o l u m e c t c o l u m e c t 啊，就把它画成 matrix 形式。So we have three， 我们讲过三民主义、民有、民治、民享三个原理。电路学我们三个原理就是这样。啊，第一个原理 ，N I B equal to zero， 啊，它的意义就是 K C L。第二个原理呢，这个是 K V 自动满足。所以你不用伤脑筋。第三个是 c o m p o n e n t model， 那我们把它合起来看看怎么得到我们的这个 result。OK， first we multiply this c o m p o n e n t model by n matrix， because n multiplied the branch current vector equals zero vector， 这零是一个向量的零哦。你这 B， 假如说一千个的话，你这零零零零零零零一千个零。The dimension can be very big, very small. So we multiply both sides of the equation by n matrix. Here n b equals to zero, and here n i is here. N g multiplied this, so n g like this. And second, we substitute the branch voltage in terms of not the voltage, because branch voltage. 前面也讲 ，branch 电压是等于 branch 电压等于 n 的 transpose 乘上节点的电压 ，OK。So substitute branch voltage 啊、uh, with n t times the null voltage vector, OK. And the second term remains the same, OK. OK. Now we call this matrix n matrix. This is not square matrix, okay? But G matrix is a diagonal square matrix, okay? Diagonal matrix. So we get the A matrix, okay? And this current source is known. What source is known? We let this known quantity as B vector. So we get a standard form with solvent simultaneous equations. Ah, we 解这个联立方程式，所以标准形式就这样。这是它的一个原理。So we are asking some students here to work out some problems to practice the n o t e q u a t i o n s 我们是不是请后面帮忙把这个屏幕拉起来啊？啊，这后面这个数学你你架构是都看不到的，但是我把它整理出来。啊，我们相信清华的同学都是啊，前面。一百一 percent、二 percent 都非常优秀的同学哈，就简简单的一个 matrix 的乘法的哈，矩阵的方式这样，但是可以把 K C L、K V L、Compound Model 变成很简洁的表示出来。那我们设计过程，旁边的自动它会乘法，那个数位乘法的自动就把它乘出来。